Hi everyone, here we are at 636 Bluebird Lane. Bluebird Woodland. Quiet little 55 plus community. So the first thing I noticed about the house is it has vinyl siding, but the vinyl siding is the, the smaller uh, panels where I guess normally it would be closer to six inches. It's like three. Uh, I like the way it looks. I think it's a nice little touch. So walk in, have the little pineapple knocker. It looks like they did replace this top lock so it just needs to be repainted around. Minor things. The home. I would say original is the, the word I would use. So you have carpet. Overall, seems like the, the people who lived here in the past were pretty clean. Just not much of, they didn't do much updating per se. So over to your left, you have a little dining room area. Definitely can fit a larger dining room. You have popcorn ceilings. Very little light. A lot. Most of the ceiling fans in this unit do not have any lights uh, attached. But this would be your living room. Looks like they enjoyed looking outside. I, I can see a big TV there. We're gonna check out the bedrooms real quick. So, we'll come down here first. We have a guest bedroom. Um, not huge, but a decent size. Definitely a solid little offer. Has a little crease right here. Looks like a sheetrock crease. Um, not sure what it's from. It's a little bit unusual. Doesn't appear to be anything serious, but just wanted to point it out. Most of the switches in this unit too also have these little knobs for the ceiling fan. So going to the next be uh, guest bedroom. Here we are. Looks like they have uh, maybe a full possibly. Uh, definitely could fit a king if you wanted to. Um, not really a small guest bedroom by any means. I'd say slightly, a little bit larger than the average guest bedroom for this size home. The other one was a little on the smaller end. Here we have these bifolding doors. Closet. Down here, I'd imagine this is access to either a sink or a tub. Walk out across the hall. We have a little linen closet loaded up with beach towels. We have a full bath here. Um, the vanity looks to be, you know, cultured marble. Um, definitely appears to be original. I do like the framed in mirror. That's a nice little touch. It looks good. Have the old school medicine cabinet. Um, a shower with a tile but fiberglass insert um, shower pan and tile flooring. This vanity looks to be in good shape, but definitely appears to also be original, without a doubt. So check above here. I always like to check, and everything looks pretty good up here. No real water damage. Maybe a little bit up in that corner. It looks like it's been patched. Let's go check out the master. So here we have the master. <clears throat> Not much larger than the guest. Decent size. Looks like they have a, a queen here. Definitely could fit a king, California king, whatever you're looking for. Again, no light on the ceiling fan itself. But pretty large room, not not extremely large, maybe slightly below average of the size for a master uh, for a master in this house. We do have a double vanity sink, tile floors. We have a tub over here. There we go. Pick the right one to turn off. This is real tile. Again, nothing serious. A little, maybe a little touching there, touch up there, a little touch up over there. But overall, pretty good condition. And we have our 
closet. This switch is for the attic fan. Okay, well, that tells you everything. This switch was for the attic fan that was disconnected after the new roof with the ridge vents was installed. There you go. Solves that question. Not a huge closet. I'm gonna check out the kitchen real quick. Get a little better look at the dining room. And probably my favorite feature of the house is uh, a back Carolina room they have. So here we have like a coat closet. As soon as we walk in the door, door is to the left. As you walk into the kitchen, you have a, looks like a laminate flooring. Same kind of cabinets you have in the rest of the house. The mica countertops. Overall, good condition. Um, if you're waiting to hold off for wallpaper to come back in the, um, you know, style, we're almost there. Keep waiting. You've already you've waited this long, so it does have wallpaper in here. A little touch up I see over here in the corner as well. A little bit of touch up. And I bet you this is the reason why they got the new roof. They might have had a couple leaks. So over here we have. Our washer and dryer. We also have our hot water heater over here. We got a lifetime warranty on this. Good luck. And we have like a little, a little breakfast area, uh, which is nice. Kind of a cute little area to sit. Go check out the garage for you real quick. Good looking garage overall. You know, finished. Looks like you know. They've tinkered in the garage, you know, kind of had the pegboard set up over here. This is a pegboard. Um, have some stuff over here for rakes and different things like that to hold up. But overall, decent garage. Has the, the sink over in the corner to wash out. Has access to the attic. Has a, a ceiling fan. So you could really get do some hanging out out here, which I would imagine a lot of people in this community do a fair amount of hanging out as well. So. Now, let's go check out what I consider my favorite thing here in this house. It's this little Carolina room. So it has a sliding glass door to a Carolina room that has one, two, three, four, five sliding glass doors all the way around. Really cool area. Um, it does have AC. It doesn't feel that way. It's kind of hot right now, but um, it does have AC. It has a a return line as well, but really, really neat, neat area. I'd love to sit out here and have breakfast in the morning, you know. Um, you do have neighbors around, so you still have to get dressed, but cute little area, definitely. I will take you outside. I'll also try to show you around what it looks like on the outside as well. You got a squirrel over here, Nice squirrel. So this is actually a little more private than I would expect. I mean, obviously every neighbor right there, so they're gonna see everything, but um, this is a little porch grilling, things like that. This is a Carolina room that I mentioned before. It has all these doors. They could all open up. I have a feeling like if you wouldn't open them up, you'd probably just hang out, but you definitely could. Take you all the way around. Have your AC unit over here. It appears that they actually have a well in place as well. A well as well, but you know, just they have a well in place right here. Nice huge crepe myrtle. Couple of nice bushes. Overall, landscape is pretty decent. Uh, it can get a little touched up, but. Yeah, so that's three, uh, 363. Um, if you have any questions, you know, kind of give me a call, reach out. Happy to help where I can. Again, the living room and the dining room. Uh, talk to you soon. Bye, bye.